Hello my country people, welcome back to the news. Before now, Ohane Zendibo had raised the alarm, calling out to southeasterners, those in the southwestern part of Nigeria and other parts of this country, to relocate their business headquarters to the southeast. They have called out to Ndibos in Lagos in other parts of Nigeria that they should relocate and make the southeast, you know, a business hub because they've lost most of their investment due to demolition exercise. With the recent demolition exercise in Lagos State, most Ndibos have lost their properties, their investments, and their building, you know, uh, properties and all of that. So my country people, in a recent um, development, a Nigerian footballer had raised alarm over this very issue. Guys, you would be shocked. I mean, it seems that Ndibo are in trouble. The Ndibos, they are in trouble because this is pure wickedness. Footballer Emenike has slammed the Lagos state government. Yes, a former Super Eagles footballer, Emmanuel Emenike, is crossing a stair over the Lagos state government's bulldozer, which has left several people, mostly Igbo people in the state, stranded. The Lagos state government began demolition on lawful structures erected on canals and waterways along the Gidig, in the, around the Jidigi Mobile Road and the Ikota drainage channels last week. The Ministry of Environment and Water Resources recognized the need to carry out the demolition activity in order to prevent future erosion and flooding in the environment. And during the demolition exercise, multi-million era properties were demolished under the supervision of Operatives Ministry of Environment and Water Resources. Anemenike responded emotionally and shared, you know, a snapshot of the demolished property on his Instagram story, expressing great empathy for the profound loss felt by those involved. He said that these people in question had obtained permission from the same Lagos state government that they had later destroyed their properties. So MNEK did numerous words describing this behavior as a blatant illustration of wickedness in its purest form. With, the, with genuine care for his fellow Igbo brothers and sisters in the state, he gave a smart advice, pushing them to take their money, their investment to the eastern route to their eastern route because of safety, especially, you know, citing um, Abia, Imo, Anambra, Enugu, and Eboi as safe havens. I mean, it is so sad that after these affected persons that their buildings have been demolished, their investments have been demolished, they got approval from the same Lagos state government before all this demolition started. So, had it been they knew that that spot was a no-no spot for building structures. Why did they give approval in the first place? This is absolutely pure wickedness. Igbos are in trouble. They have been called upon to bring back their investments home. They have Abia states. Abia states is there. Imo, Anambra, Enugu, Eponyi. Those places are more like safe heavens. But you see, in the Ibos, business properties, their investment is not safe outside their hometown. So my country people, this is a very serious issue. Ohanes and Dibo had been, you know, urging businessmen in other parts of the country to relocate their businesses to the southeast. They've been urging them for quite some time that they should relocate for their own safety to also strengthen the commercial hub in the southeast region most of them would say 
Lagos is more like the the the, the home of a uh, you know commercial hub whereby it's the center of excellence. So a lot of business activities are are, are there. But to some extent, Ohanese had called on the Igbo youth that it's time for them to come back home. It's time for them to come back home because many businessmen and women, mostly Ndibos, have lost their businesses, their investments due to demolition exercise, due to attacks. So they've urged them all because it seems that the Ndibos have been targeted right from time and they've been receiving attacks from different from various parts of the country and they've also urged them to come back home so that the southeast would become a commercial hub so my country people what are your thoughts on this the importance of governance is to protect the citizens from ruin now, I saw the properties being demolished. It is unthinkable that all these things would happen. This is pure wickedness. With the cost of building materials in the market, how can normal human beings see such a beautiful structures and start demolishing it? This is what we call Nigeria. One thing I know is that there is surely no peace for the wicked. Well, See the way a good number of them supported OB candidacy. Igbo men should go back to their hometown. It seems that they have state government approval, but there must be a compensation. You know, Nigeria is a lawless country. Okay? You see, I've been telling these people to go back home, but they don't want to. Okay, guys, these are just some few reactions from Nigerians. You see, um, it seems that a lot of people have been reacting to this, concerning the Igbos, staying in other parts of the, the country, you know, and not going back to their hometown. Most of them are spread across the country. They have a lot of investment, business, properties here and there. But at some point, their businesses seems to be under you know attack most of that most of them lost their business due to demolition uh, exercised by state government and all of that others due to attacks fire and you know all of that so my country people emenike has expressed sadness over this uh, legal state government's bulldozing exercise that has left several evil people in the state stranded so guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comments section. Thank you.